from Daily Forex, this is Chris taking a look at the uh, gold and silver market. You can see gold has pulled back just a bit during the trading session on um, Thursday here. Uh, now, the thing about this uh, is that we had a major sell-off in other markets such as the NASDAQ 100. You know, I mean, 5% down was uh, pretty significant. That had people having to cover their gold positions to come up with margin over there. You see that every time we get a massive sell-off. Now, having said that, the 50-day EMA sits right around the 1900 level. And the 1800 level, I think, is even more supportive. We haven't even retested it, so I'd be very interested in that. In other words, I'm still wanting to buy the dip. Uh, jobs number comes out Friday, so expect volatility after the jobs number. Then I'll buy signs of strength. Over here in silver, I think 26 is support, so is 25. Kind of the same story over here, as you would expect. Been a massive move, but we are grinding higher. Um, you know, you can even make an argument for a little bit of an uptrending channel, so we'll see. But either way, it still points towards more longer-term strength. Mm -hmm.